Uh, filming out in 2K, we went to San Francisco. Um, we had a chance to film for 2K, and it was just a really cool experience. It was something that I always wanted to do. I uh, played that game as a kid. I know a lot of you guys play it, um, whether you guys are kids or adults. So it was cool to kind of, kind of see the ins and outs of it. Um, You know, so going out there, they, they kind of had, you know, a role of what they, they wanted me to do and what they expected out of me. Um, you know, so it was good. I was kind of, it was a little bit uncomfortable at first. Um, they put us, when we walked in, they put me in this funny one-piece suit um, with sensors on it. It was hot. It was uncomfortable. Um, you know, they had pads on our hands, so it was really hard to, to handle the ball. And then they put us in some some Nikes from like 1992 that were like, not these ones, these are not them. That if any basketball player, if you're a real hooper, you know what I'm talking about. You had to tie them like super tight because they were like too big. The, the shoelaces were long. So I was like slipping and all this other stuff. The floor was tile, um, you know, but it was really cool. They made us do a lot of funny things. So like. You know, when, you, when I came in, I thought I was just kind of be able to do my thing, but they, they kind of had, you know, roles they wanted me to play, so you had to, like, stay in a straight line because um, the cameras had to catch certain movements um, that you had to do, so we had to stay straight line. We had to do things like when we did a drag dribble drill, I had to pull it back, and I had to just sit, right, and kind of bob back and forth, which to me was just, like, not a natural basketball movement. But you kind of understood from a video game standpoint of why they do the things. really cool to see the technology behind it. They probably had 20 people there from people on cameras, people, you know, with the paper trying to tell me what I needed to get done. Um, you know, people up top that were, that were doing the whole centering thing and trying to record the certain things they needed to record. So overall, it was, man, it was just a really cool experience to be out there, to be able to do that. Um, another thing that, you know, the basketball can take you to a lot of places. I didn't know if you know, that the basketball was going to take me to something like that. Um, you know, but I'm just blessed that, that this ball's been able to do all those things for me. So they kind of let me do, you know, a lot of things that I like to do. So, you know, a couple moves that we did um, in the 2 play was the dribble release, right? I would go right to left, right, cross jam. Um, we did the cross jab, we did a cross jab into a load exchange, right, so cross jab, load. We did a couple drag situation drills where, right, I would drag, right, step in, hezzy off a toe tap, right, and step in. So it really got me to get into my own stuff, try to, you know, create certain moves within the game. So it was really cool, um, you know, to be uncomfortable being robotic and then him kind of just being like, you know, let's have you do your own thing, um, put what moves you want in. So the equipment they put you on, as soon as you walk in, they put you in this bodysuit, one piece, crazy funky, and then they put like a cap on top. So everything had was sensors. So like one, like if you're a basketball player, like you want to wear what you want to wear. So you kind of, you know, feel good about yourself and how you're going to do stuff. I've never felt like that in my life. So I felt you know, certain type of way, looking in a one piece. It was hot, it was itchy. All over my hands, I had like a, like a hat on, so in these whack shoes. So like as a hooper, you know, like if you don't feel good, you ain't gonna play good. So ooh, that was like crazy for me that I'll never put a one piece on again in my entire life if I'm hooping, unless it's for 2K again, I'll do that shit again. So reach back out to me if you want me to do it again because I'd wear it again with the shoes.